Hi, welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington. Rest in peace, Elgin Baylor. You were the greatest basketball player ever out of Washington, D.C. Oh, we can talk about all the people, but we're talking about second place. Now, not easy for me to say this in a way because I never had to see Elgin play locally. I mean, he was, he was back in the mid-50s. And he was a three-time All-City player, twice at Phelps, then actually took a year off and worked for a living, and then came back to Spingar when it opened and was an All-Met there. And he was the first black player to be on All-Mets in the city. They didn't even cover uh, the segregated schools back then. But he was that good. And he went out, he ended up in Seattle in college, took them to an NCAA championship where they lost to Kentucky. Then his first draft in the 1958 NBA draft, he would be an 11-time All-Star, 10-time All-NBA, and yet he lost eight final appearances. He never got a championship ring, except the Lakers gave him one after he retired in early in the season because of knee problems in 72. So kind of a weird thing on that. And he never really came back to Washington. You know, he'd slip back into town to see family, but, um, you know, back then we didn't have an NBA team way back. So, you know, he's all legends, but man, if you talk to the old guys like I would in the 80s in Washington, and they would all talk about Elgin, and you just knew the legacy's there. I don't know how anybody could ever replace him as the greatest basketball player ever out of Washington. Okay, crossing town over Congressional Cemetery. Uh, I've seen pictures. I didn't get to go over there, but the magnolias there are magnificent. Magnolias are starting to pop around town. You know, while we're waiting for the cherry blossoms, they're still a little bit off. But maybe we'll go to Congressional Cemetery. It's a really cool place. It's free to go in. A lot of famous politicians are buried there, as the name would suggest. It's ever near RFK Stadium. There's street parking. Go see something different. It's a pretty cool place. Okay, well, it's time to go. Hey, donate to those food banks because people still need this help as we try to emerge from the pandemic. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for the two minutes. I'll see you again soon.